Hello, this is Matthew Miller with the ZDNet cell phones and smartphones blog and the mobile gadgeteer. Today I'm going to take a look at the Nokia N96. Just a quick first look. And here's the retail box with the device. I just want to quickly show you. It's kind of the successor to the Nokia N95 as far as uh, they both have slide up, slide down, and buttons on both sides. Uh, 5 megapixel cameras, a little bit different. Um, and stereo speakers and things like that. So that's the N95. It, uh, the N96 actually has a lot of the new design features like the uh, the black back seen on the uh, N81 and the N78. As you can see they all have that familiar back. They've all got a, a silver um, type of finish around the edges with rounded curves. They have some of the same looks as you can see the N, uh, N81 on top there with that power button and the lock and the three and a half millimeter. Uh, there's stereo speakers on uh, both devices. They have the slider with the flat keys. So let's take a little bit more look at the hardware of the N96. So as you can see, it's a little bit wider than say, uh, just slightly wider than the N95 was. And then uh, if we have the N81, it's a little bit wider there as well. So let's start off with the front of the device. It's a large 2.8 inch screen. Unfortunately, it is not a VGA screen, uh, which is one disappointment for me. Uh, here are the bottom hardware buttons. As you can see, there's a send and end. There's a soft keys. There's a menu button back. And then depending on what you're doing, there's uh, media buttons as well with a multimedia key and the directional pad that like the uh, N78 lights up for indications and things like that. And if we slide it up, there of course is the keypad. And as you can see, it is pretty flat. It does have a couple of knobs around the five there. Um, and then we can also slide down. And as you can see here, there actually is no buttons at all. It's pretty flat with a couple little lines between them. And they are uh, multimedia buttons that light up. Looking at the top of the device, we've got the three and a half millimeter headset jack. We've got a lock button, power button and one of the speakers and if we roll around to the right side there's the volume buttons there or the volume rocker and the camera button and then there's the other speaker so I'll show you in a minute when it's set up uh, you have have stereo speakers on the top over here you have the micro USB which is the new standard and the standard Nokia charging port with a lanyard loop there and micro SD which is nice because it does have an integrated 16 gigabytes of flash so popping around the back, we've got the 5 megapixel Carl Zeiss optics camera with dual LED flash. No xenon on this bad boy. What's unique here, which we saw at Mobile World Congress, was the kickstand. So around the camera, you flip this up, and you have a little kickstand that we'll show you here in a second how it works. Also in the back is a 950 milliampere battery, which is a little bit lower than the 1200 I was expecting that we see in the later N95s. So if we've got uh, the kickstand there, and then we set it up like this on the table with the kickstand, you have now have stereo speakers up top, and it actually plays uh, video pretty well, which I'll show you in a minute. One thing on the front that you may be able to see, it's, as you can see, it's glossy and it shows up fingerprints. There's actually some, there's some ridges around the directional pad to give you a little touch and feel there. I'm going to go ahead and pause it for a second. I'm going to turn off the light uh, and show you uh, around the device a little bit and some of the features. Okay, I cleaned off the screen a little bit and turned off the light. Now we'll take a look. As you can see, backlighting is quite well. All those light up and the keypad lights up. Switch it this way and the multimedia buttons light up. As you also see on this main screen, I currently have it set to auto rotate uh, with accelerometer. You can turn that off if you like or you can leave it on for rotation. Uh, this device also has like the N78 feature pack 2. A 60 third edition feature pack 2 so you'll see a left right and a center on the soft keys and a couple of other animations and things like that uh, taking a quick look um, at the standard applications that we see there uh, there's not too much difference uh, we've got Nokia maps music player with the podcast application engage comes on there you actually get one code uh, a code for authorization and purchase of one game for free in the box uh, let's take a look at the video center here. Uh, as you can see, there's some videos, video feeds, which we don't actually have the DVBH here in the U.S. to test that. And let's see what else applications. There's just some of the things that I've loaded. Gmail, as you can see, the icon is horrible. 
let's see, media, mobile TV, which we can't get here, real player, share online, OVs uh, throughout the device you'll find. It does have your office applications as well. And I did download and, and use Mail for Exchange with it. Okay, Most of the S60 uh, things that we've seen before are present on this device. Now, one thing I'm going to show, because this device is <coughs> excuse me, multimedia heavy, I'll push the multimedia button. And video is really where uh, it's focused on. So let's uh, let's go to the last video I just loaded up. This is a video that I loaded up from. Let me just uh, I'll start it and then I'll pause it here for a second. Okay, this is a video that I uh, had converted from a DVD onto my Mac into iPhone format, MP4, uh, MP4 and uh, see how it plays on this device. And I'll switch into landscape mode for you. So that's video, it plays pretty well as you can see, and I, I gotta mess with the settings because I'll try to get it to, to be fuller as well, but that's a good view of it. And that's about it for a first look at the uh, Nokia N96. Um, it is, uh, you know, pretty much taking everything from the N95 and improving it with Feature Pack 2 and uh, DVB-H TV. Um, so it's a nice, uh, nice solid device. We'll see how it sells. I imagine with subsidies it would do fairly well. It's fairly expensive in the U.S., 750 to 800 And at this time, if I was going to buy something like that, I would actually would personally go for the Nokia N95 8GB rather than the N96 at this time.